To balance this equation, iron plus nitric acid, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. And this is a bit of a challenging equation, so let's see what we can do. We have one iron, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. On the product side, we have the one iron, then we have the two hydrogens. Nitrogens, we have three times the one, so three plus the one nitrogen right there, so four nitrogen atoms, and then oxygens, three times three, that's nine, plus we have one with the NO, plus the one in the oxygen. So we have 11 total oxygen atoms. So you can see why this is a bit challenging. Let's first try the hydrogens and see where that gets us. If we put a two in front of the HNO3, we have one times two. That does balance the hydrogens. One times two, that gives us two nitrogens. And then three times two, that gives us six oxygens. Why don't we see what we can do with the nitrogens next? And that might even fix the oxygens. We'll see. Right now we have two and we need four. So let's change this to a four here. So now we need to update these things here. We have one times four, four hydrogens, one times four, four of the nitrogens, and then three times four, 12 oxygens. So it looks like the hydrogens, they're not balanced, and the oxygens aren't. We could put a two as our coefficient in front of H2O. Two times two, that would give us four, so the hydrogens would be balanced. Now we need to update the oxygens again. So we have three times three, nine oxygens, plus the one oxygen, plus we have one times the two, that's two, and nine plus one is 10, plus two, 12, and this equation is balanced. So that's the balanced equation for Fe plus HNO3, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.